morning. Uh, we are here to uh, do a tour of the runway extension project. This is a project initiated uh, by the government of Jamaica, um, Air Force Authority of Jamaica, uh, one of the lead agencies. MEJ, of course, executing the project on their behalf, and of course, there are many other entities uh, that are collaborating on implementing this major project. Um, which will improve the infrastructure, not just here for Montego Bay, but really uh, we're talking a national asset. This morning, the team came down to look at the master plan expansion works at the Donald Sanster International Airport being undertaken by MBJ Airports, who are the managers. We have an approximate, a uh, little bit over 100 million US dollar expansion program that will see to sections of Kent Avenue being realigned also having us acquiring additional properties, extending the runway by a little bit over 500 meters and redirecting the food court and the, the departures traffic. There will also be work realigning the entrance of the coming into the facility. We'll be doing, they'll be doing some expansion work and putting in additional shops and expanding the food court at arrivals. So persons who will come to pick up persons will have a better and a more comfortable wait while you wait on your loved ones. This investment into the airport system is uh, one of our masterpieces within the ministry and within the government. It will make traffic for persons much easier and it will inject a lot of funds within the general St. James economy. Right now we are running a little bit behind our pre-COVID numbers and we are taking the opportunity to do the expansion work during this lull time. We are running at about 60% of our pre-COVID traffic through this airport. So it's an opportune time to do the work. And the new entrance that we'll be doing coming from the east is also will be tied into the new Montego Bay bypass so that the bulk of the traffic will be coming through from the eastern end and will reduce the amount of traffic coming from the roundabout around the western end and that will also help to you know slow down the congestion of traffic here so the actual runway extension itself we're looking at about 37 million us dollars the entire project with all the associated works uh, we are looking at around 70 million us dollars so the benefits of the project are twofold. One, it's a safety um, related uh, aspect to it. So we're implementing what they call RESA. We don't have that now and it's an international requirement uh, where they need to have this extended area at both ends of the runway in case there's an overshoot or, or undershoot of the aircraft. Additionally, the aircraft, the runway will be able to accommodate the aircraft with a higher payload. So, uh, if you're coming from a very far distance, we have flights as far as Russia, we have had from Moscow. And if you're talking about the weight of the aircraft or payload they can carry, there are restrictions there because of the, length, the limited length of the runway. So they'll be able to carry a higher payload and also further destinations. It opens up some opportunities for aircraft to fly from routes that we don't have today, right? Um, of course, the opportunities um, beyond North America, which is where most of our flights are, but we're really talking about um, Eastern Europe and, and, and near Asia. There are some opportunities there that now we'll be able to explore. In terms of aircraft type, uh, we can pretty much handle everything except an A380. Of course, an A380 is perhaps on its way out now globally in aviation, uh, but again, payload is, is, the, is the key factor here and, and the distance that aircraft will have to travel uh, to Jamaica, to and from Jamaica. 